Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today we are going to continue our talking about unit 6. And today, inshallah, we are going to learn about applications on data representations. Let's start. Bismillah. Okay. If you roll a die x times, and recorded the result which is represented by the following graphs here we have what here we have the dot plot and for the same data we represented by box plot and for the same data we represented again by histogram let's answer this question first question is how many times we rolled the die what do you think which graph I will choose to answer this question? Can I choose the dot plot? Let's see how many times we rolled the die. We can count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So we can choose the dot plot to answer this question. What about the box plot? Can we use it? No, I can't because I can't see any number for the individual, right? What about the histogram? Can I use it? Yes, we can. How much we can do it? Because if I add here the frequency of this interval and the frequency of this interval and this one as well, we can find how many times we roll the die as a total. By what? By adding 6 plus 4 equals 10 plus 3 equals 13 again. So we can use the histogram. And the total number is 13. What about the second question? How many times we the number 4 occurred? Okay, can I use the dot plot? Yes, I can. I can see here obviously number 4 and I know it occurred how many times? 2 times. Can I use box plot? Once again, I can't because here I don't have any data for especially 4. What about histogram? We can use it. Again, we can't. Why? Because 4 by itself, I can see it. I can see 4 inside the interval, but I don't know how many times exactly 4 occurs by itself. So, how many times here 4 occurred is what? It's 2. The next question is, how many times number 3 or more occurred? Now, can I use again the dot plot? Yes, I can. By what? Now, 3 and more occurred how many times? 3 and more means what? 3 and 4 and 5. We can count all the dots. 2 plus 2 equals 4. 4 plus 3 equals what? 4 plus 3 equals 7. Can I use that box plot? No, I can't. What about the histogram? Can I use it? Yes, this time I can. Why? Because here, 3 and more, it's just like what? Just like interval. And here I have 1, 2 intervals. I have here 2 intervals which represent 3 or more. So if I add 4 plus 3 equals, equals 7. This is the same number, right? So we can use histogram to answer this question. And the answer is 7. Question number 4 is, what is the maximum value? Can I use the dot, uh, dot uh, plot? Yes, I can. Where is the maximum value here? It's what? It's 5. So the most number uh, or the, the largest uh, or the maximum number uh, of the die is what is five can i see it here in the box plot of course we can here it's what again five can i use it here in histogram no i can't why miss i have here the maximum but the maximum here is what it's an interval and as we can see here i begin this interval with five which is the maximum but i end it with, with what with six six here not occurred at all if it six here appeared, I will represent it on the box plot and on what on dot uh, and dot plot. So sometimes we can use the histogram and sometimes we can't because the histogram represent what represent intervals. And according to the length of the interval, maybe I will have the maximum here as the last number in the interval, or maybe I can't. So we can use only dot plot and box plot. And the number is what? Yes, it's 5. The last question here is what? What is median? Can I use the box plot, the dot plot to represent or, or to know what is the median? Yes, I can. By what? By taking away all these values and I have to write them 
one 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 two 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 and two and three three four four five 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 then find the median as we learned before so i can use what i can use this one what about the box, box plot of course just by looking here i can see that the median is three the line inside the box is what is the median can i see here the median in the histogram no i can't now let's remember here the dot plot i will have here some new names and i want you to focus with me okay this is a dot, uh, dot plot as we know okay the first number here is what this is what this is the largest the largest what the largest frequency right and the highest point in the largest frequency i can call it a peak okay okay what about this part this part doesn't have any values so i can call it gap super what about this part this part is what all the data or most of the data will be in this part so when i have collection of a data in a certain part of my graph i can call it cluster what about this one this one is a far away from my cluster so i will call it outlier so now these are four new words for the dot plot we have gap and all of us, uh, all of us know what's the meaning of the gap and we have a peak what is the, what does the, the mean of the peak it's the highest uh, point on my frequency okay and when i have some data uh, beside each others and the nearest to each other i can call them cluster okay but when i have one data or more than one data but it's far away from my cluster i can call it what i can call it outlier the dot plot has some characteristics okay these characteristics are we can use the dot plot to list every one the individual data so every one of the individual individual data it can be represented by dot plot what else miss the dot plot shows the maximum and the minimum we can see here one and six at the maximum and the minimum okay shows dot plot shows what the peaks as we see here and clusters and outlier also dot plot shows what show the most frequent number what is the most frequent number it's one dot plot shows the number of all individual data how can we see it miss by counting the total number of dots again dot plot by some calculation you can get the median lower quartile and, and upper quartile and dot plot it is the best way to answer statistical questions related to the individual data this time we have what we have box plot let's see some characteristic for box plot box plot shows the minimum what is the minimum yes the first dot here is the minimum what is the maximum it is the last dot here right median median is the line inside the box a lower quartile it will be what between the median and the minimum upper quartile between the maximum and the minimum the median we can see here what we can see here a whisker and another whisker okay and it shows the spread of data in each quarter what is the meaning of spread of data this part is what has spread data or the data lies here in this uh, in this part and this part is more spread or less spread than this part yes it's more spread what about this quarter less spread okay so now i can i i think you know what's the meaning of spread of data so it shows the spread of data in each quarter again box plot doesn't show the total number of individual individual data or their exact values we can see here how many uh, uh, individuals i uh, surveyed or what is the exact value of 28 or 30 or anything else box plot it is the best way to show distribution and spread and also show the five number summary which are what which are minimum maximum median lower quartile and upper quartile the last thing here is what the histogram histogram show the set of data in form of intervals and it shows 
the number of individual data each interval and all the individual data. By how much we can see that the individual for this set are what is what is six and the total individual how can I find them? I will add six plus four plus three. Also, histogram shows the greatest frequency. What is the greatest frequency? It's six, as we can see here. The histogram doesn't show the number, the five number summary, and it is the best way to answer a statistical question about the grouped data. That's all for today. Thanks, and see you soon, inshallah.